Today we start with a new series, Jobs in Clinical Trials. We will start off with a job you may have heard of, a Clinical Research Associate, or for short, a CRA. More after the intro. What everybody, really everybody should know. There are many different jobs in clinical trials, and they all work together to produce better products for our healthcare. Let's begin with one job, which is very important for every clinical trial, the clinical research associate, or clinical monitor. But what does a CRA do? A clinical research associate is a healthcare professional who performs many activities related to medical research. The CRA plans, supervises, and monitors clinical trials and is the communicative link between a contract research institute and the test centers involved in the study. More specifically, a CRA will travel to different sites like hospitals, clinics, and private practices, and other locations where patients participate in the clinical trial that they are responsible for monitoring. CRAs gather important information like documents from the investigator site file, they make sure the site staff is following all the guidelines correctly, and other vital study tasks. But why are they so important? The main function of a clinical research associate is to monitor clinical trials. The main tasks of the CRA are defined by good clinical practice guidelines for monitoring clinical trials. In addition to medical expertise, the job requires, in particular, in-depth knowledge of national and international legal regulations, including the Declaration of Helsinki, the implementation of good clinical practice, or GCP, and compliance with the study plan. Monitoring can significantly improve data quality in clinical studies. Clinical research associates are used in studies according to AMG, the Medicines Act, and MPG, the Medical Devices Act. Monitoring is in principle required or recommended for all clinical studies, also for non-interventional studies, known as NIS, because the controls of the CRA are a recognized quality feature of clinical studies. CRAs are to check whether the patients or test persons were informed before the start of a study and whether the signed Declaration of Consent or Informed Consent is available. The monitor often takes on the maintenance of the study folders as well. Study folders contain the patient identification list, the training list for study nurses, and the correspondence with the Ethics Committee, among many other things. A monitor manual and SOPs, or standard operating procedures, are created prior to the start of a study so that monitoring is carried out in the same way in all study centers. In this way, all processes are described in a binding manner and the contents of the selection visit, also known as pre-study visit, initiation, routine visits, also known as monitoring visits, and the final visit or closeout visit are specified. Clinical research associates also assure the protection of the rights, safety, and well-being of human study subjects. Additionally, a CRA must make certain that the scientific integrity of the data collected is protected and verified, and assure that adverse events are correctly documented and reported. A CRA has very demanding monitoring tasks, and many responsibilities in the studies, which are vital for any clinical trial, they must also be very open to travel. With appropriate professional experience, prospects as a senior CRA or project manager open up. We'll talk about these other jobs in some of our next videos. If you want to learn more about the daily life of the CRA, you can watch our interview with the CRA here. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments below. See you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.